Hi guys, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Lola. So today you can see the weather is very nice and warm. You can see my dog running around enjoying the backyard. So yeah, so um, I'm gonna spend time here in my backyard and uh, and I'm gonna take you along with me. I'm looking for some twigs and uh, acorn or something I can use for my autumn wreath and also for Thanksgiving decor. Oh yeah, we are here in Canada. We are just celebrating Thanksgiving yesterday because you're watching it today, of course. But this is actually a week before, so I want to do some small projects while enjoying the leaves, changing its color. It's become reddish and orange. It's just beautiful. So stay with me and let's do something today, guys. Okay guys, while well, I'm enjoying the beautiful day, I heard a sound and you will not believe me. There's a lot, like literally a lot of wild turkeys there. Like I never seen them before. I've been in this house for more than two years and I never see them and voila. They are there where I'm shooting for my Thanksgiving video. What a queen kidding, right? I mean, coincidence, of course. <laughs> so I think it's a sign that I'm gonna have a beautiful Thanksgiving. I'm actually following them after I put Google my dog in the house. Like, Oh my god, I never seen a wild turkey this close ever in my life. I saw them somewhere far when I'm driving, but never this close and in my backyard. Wow, right? So 
So by this time, I said enough with Turkey Day. I'm done. I need to go back to work. And you will not believe what happened. Like half hour later after I took this video, all these turkeys, they went to my front yard. Can you see? It's They're big, eh? And there must be at least two or three dozens of them. They're just there for an hour and I don't know, they're just eating from my front yard and my neighbor across the street. It's just amazing, so I'm just watching them for an hour. <laughs> okay, now for real, let's get on to the project, guys. Alright guys, for the first project, I have this old, what you call this, baking tray. Um, I'm not really baking so I don't really know the name but it's all like crusted this is very old it's just lying around in the house and I know I'm not gonna use it because it's so rusted already so I'm gonna make this as a tray or something for a decor for our Thanksgiving dinner alright guys I will start this project by painting this baking tray with rustoleum spray paint and the color is black so I spray the back side of the tray and also the front side of the tray Okay guys, I want to show you the treasure I found in my backyard. It's amazing, yeah? I will use them for decoration for this Thanksgiving. treasure I found there in the woodland part and I want to use some of them for uh, my decor for my autumn decor for my wreath and let me tell you a little bit about me I came from a tropical country I uh, it's the season is either it's warm or hot so I'm not accustomed to decorate the house like seasonally and changing every season normally I just keep my decor summer all year round because you know I think it's my favorite season of the year but yeah the more I see uh, photos in uh, Pinterest or Instagram or watching videos in YouTube I kind of want to try to apply it in my home uh, I tried already to decorate for spring and summer so this would be my first uh, fall decor so bear with me, I have a lot of ideas but I'm still kind of walk in the dark. I will try to bring it to life. So let's get on to the project guys. First project, so the baking tray is done, all good. Now I want to use a tissue for the coupage. I bought this tissue in Dollarama. So I, I think I want to put around here. Let's start. So I will just use Smart Podge. So guys, this is a two-ply tissue. You just need to separate the sheet, and you're only using the the sheet with the design for decoupage.
so here I am just trying to cut the excess tissue I don't mind if the result is not straight and I like when it's a little bit uh, rugged because that's the look that I'm looking for So I put the mud patch again on top of the tissue to seal it. So once the mud pouch is dry, I am making arrangement with the twigs, acorn, and pine cone I found in my backyard just to make it more uh, autumn-y. So it's kind of like small reed that I can put as a background. I'm using a jute twine to uh, tie all the twigs together and after that I'm using my hot glue gun to glue it on the tray and I will glue the other ornaments too like pine cones or acorn and it will be beautiful. Alright guys, for the next uh, decor, for the next project, I have this woods, there are six of them lying around in my husband's garage, so I took them and I want to make a decor with this. I will use this acrylic paint I bought uh, from Michaels, it's Craft Smart, and the color is Pure Pumpkin.
so guys when it's all dry I'm gonna do a decoupage again on each of this uh, wooden block so I'm gonna apply a Mod Podge tissue and Mod Podge again So I'm done with decoupage for these six blocks, wooden blocks, and I'm gonna put an ornament on top of it, just like the baking tray, because I want to keep the same theme all over the decor. Alright guys, so I did the same with the rest of the wooden boxes. Basically, this uh, box I want to put on top of the plate as a decor. And yeah, so let's get on to the next project, my wreath. Okay guys, so for my wreath, I want to make a, I want to put a sign on the wreath. So I've been collecting this wood signs from anywhere, thrift shop or because it's cheaper than to cut wood bought from Home Depot or something. So I have several of this. I will just cut the ribbon and then, you know, paint uh, on top of whatever 
written here so I put a speckle already last night uh, for the hole so I just need to sand it and then sand this and paint on top of it and I will write like hello fall so let's get on it Okay guys, once I finish sanding, I will paint this uh, wooden sign with uh, acrylic paint, uh, black paint and I will paint it white on top of this black because I want to distress it and I want the black color to pop So guys, I'm using two coats of acrylic paint for the front because I really want to cover uh, what's there and to make the process faster, I'm using my heat gun so the paint dry faster. So I'm done with the black part, now it's time to paint the white. I'm using white acrylic paint from Craftsmart. It's the same I bought it uh, at Michael's. I gave three coats of paint for uh, the top. I don't paint the back side of this wooden sign. For the next step, I'm just using stencil to write Halo for
so once it's done i just need to sand the edge part of this wooden sign For this read, all the material I bought at Michael's.
so guys now all the projects done I'm thinking to make a centerpiece for my dining table so I went outside and just get the leaves from the backyard Here I'm just trying to make a arrangement from pine cones. Hi guys, so finally I'm done with all the projects today so I will show you all my decor and how I style it at home for Thanksgiving and autumn. So this is guys, I have few uh, items for autumn. Either I made it myself or I bought it in a thrift shop or Dollarama like this pumpkin this two pumpkins i made it myself this is the first time i made my own pumpkin like the rest like this and this i just bought them from dollarama and 
I get rid of my uh, summer decor already and now I will show you my uh, autumn decor.
Alright guys, that's it for the project today. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my channel and my content because it will help my channel to grow bigger. And this is my first time doing this uh, autumn and Thanksgiving arrangement. Kindly leave me a comment if you like it. And don't forget to share if you know someone that will like my content. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and watching my video. See you all again in my next project. And happy Thanksgiving. Ta-da!